everyone, and welcome again to another edition of Robot Mesh. I'm Chris Schultz, and with my lovely assistant, Chris Sch no, Rick Tyler. Oh, good, Rick good. Tyler. It's just an Alzheimer's check. I know, there. Just just quick, <laughs> I appreciate it. So, we're going to talk about an issue that affects all of us. You've had fun building a robot, and now it's time to throw it out. And, well, we hopefully just take it apart and build a new one. What? You mean you don't buy another robot from RobotMesh.com? Ooh, good point. Mm. Buy a new kit. Buy a new kit. <laughs> All right. Now, Rick, I'm very new to this whole VEX thing, and I personally think that I'm having a lot of uh, trouble here removing some of these blue pegs. I mean, how right now, how, what's the official way of moving these pegs? Is there an official practice or technique? Well, I personally can't pull them out with my fingertips because I guess I'm old and weak. But people do all kinds of things. People use... Like their teeth? Yeah, kids use their teeth. I never would because... Hey, it works. Yeah. Not too bad. Great. Look, not going to spread diseases that way. <laughs> <laughs> not during cold and flu season, certainly. No. Um, I've seen people use these needle nose pliers. Is this a good idea or will I wind up buying a new Vex kit if, if you I are, use this? If you're really careful, you can pull them out. However, if you're not careful, which is like the typical nine-year-old, they will crush the pegs, and once the pegs have been crushed, they don't work very well with the pegs anymore. Let's see if it goes. So I only recommend needle nose pliers if you are very careful and like over 25 years old. Now, I do occasionally read instruction manuals because I'm just that kind of a guy. I think the official VEX technique is to use a VEX part, an unspecified VEX part, to remove these pieces. I've played a little bit with these shafts. And in the interest of full disclosure, okay. we've also tested beams and standoffs to remove VEX IQ pegs. Uh, I have to confess that I'm not sure that this is any faster or more reliable a technique than just using my teeth. <laughs> See, there, yeah. I eventually got it. You can also press on the back with your fingernail if you have good stout fingernails. Do I have chubby man hands? I don't know if that will work. But how does yeah. this technique work using a beam here? Well, I saw a demo video from, from Vex where they recommended using the corner of the beam and pressing down, and that gets the peg out enough that you can remove it with your fingers. Okay. Although I still don't really like it very much. But, but um, there, that were, if, you, and if you're taking pegs out of a robot that's built, of course, it's some challenge getting to the back of it to press pegs out. Now, surely there has to be a better way. Amazingly enough, there is. Our friends at Vex IQ Team 520 in Seymour, Indiana, Use their 3D printer and printed up these handy dandy Vex IQ peg pullers. Wow. Uh, and they but come in this five puller clip, so like, but fortunately this is less than 10, so it's still legal. Um, and you can unclip these, and here's they are. And they're, they're tapered, and they've got a little grippy thing, and they've got a robot mesh logo and a Team 520 logo. Now, can you actually buy these from Robot Mesh? We do, we carry them now. In fact, part of every sale goes back to the team. They're manufacturing for us, so part of the sales price goes back to the team to help support their VEX IQ program. Excellent. And so how does this work? The way these work is you just put it on the peg. I hope you can see it on the camera. And you just pull the peg out. And then, and the only limit to the speed, frankly, I've discovered the only limit to the speed of how fast you can pull pegs is that you pull them out, then you've got to you've got to pull them out of the puller, and it takes just a second to pull them out of the puller. So it's pretty fast, and it's very handy. And I have to tell you, as somebody who suffers from from Vex IQ induced finger net fingertip pain, uh, these are painless to use. They they don't. Uh, and these pegs we're using here, by the way, just to make the test fair, these are brand new pegs, so they're nice and stiff. And it looks like you're actually enjoying yourself. This is a very cathartic experience. I actually, watching you I actually with keep one of these on my desk now, and I play with it. I take, I've taken the same eight pegs out, put them back in about 30 times. So yeah, so that's the new peg. We sell these on the robot store, but I think we were actually going to do a uh, little race here. Little I'm going to use here. the conventional VEX-sanctioned method of removing these pegs. My colleague over here is going to use his newfangled contraption to pull them, and we're going to see who can do this more quickly. High tech. High tech printer. versus high touch. High so we're going to start the timer and we're going to keep track of us each one's feet. Now, see, I actually prefer the peg pullers because they make my fingers don't hurt and I don't have to split my gorgeous fingernails. But I, we think they're faster too and we're going to try that out right now. And I'm planning on visiting a dentist next week, so I'm going to use my teeth. Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> Let's give it a try. <laughs> okay, well, do you want to do a three, two, one? Three, two, one, go. go.
Doesn't feel good, does it? No, I think I chipped my tooth. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if I use my hands, ugh. you can just rip them out. I, well, because I'm forcing my thumb in. You've I, got, I get it. You've got that incredible Canadian power. I don't know that. So anyway, I'm, I'm done 24 seconds. And I have avoided my warranty because I'm using the official VEX method of pulling the pegs. I guess I avoided the VEX <laughs> warranty by using the third party peg puller. So, like, are you going to finish? No, I'm just gonna like everything else in life. I'm just gonna give up. <laughs> so these, this is the sales pitch part. So these are on our website, robotmesh.com. They sell for we sell them these handy dandy clips of five pegs for nine ninety nine. So and it goes to a good cause. You're helping out one of your fellow Vex teams. And you know you need more than one because you got a lot of kids on your team. So yeah, five pegs for ten bucks. Half that money goes back to the IQ team to support their support their mission. And I think they're uh, like. Cool things to slice bread, and they even come in a custom resealable package. Wow, my tongue so, baggy. There you go. Excellent. Well, that concludes this edition of Robot Mesh. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. And thank you, the lovely Chris Schultz. Thank you, Rick. Bye. Bye.